Hi, everybody, and welcome to Conscious Talk TV, and I'm your host, Linda Summers, and we are providing information to bring awareness and truth to humanity, and today's topic is Manifestations of the Mass Awakening, Shoshi Hershey, an investigative journalist and writer out of Israel, and with that, I'd love to welcome her to the show. Hey, Shoshi. Hi, Linda. Thanks for, for inviting me to your show. I appreciate it. Uh, you're so welcome. And thanks for everybody that's joining us today. And I am so sorry that I am delayed. Um, yeah, it's a internet um, situation. So bear with me and let me know if it's just too much for you guys. And I'll try and get back out and maybe come back in. But otherwise, we're just going to roll with the show. So, okay, it's good to go. So thanks for everybody for joining us. So, Shoshi, what I'd like to do is really kind of start with your personal story of how you awakened to this whole thing that brought you where you are today. Okay. Uh, well, it started in 2013 that I got some alerts. I remember it was on the right side uh, that I had these alerts about new trails. And I didn't even know that it's called chemtrails. I just ignored them. And then, um, after a couple of months, I realized that this is real because I looked at the sky and the sky didn't look normal. I mean, something was wrong, the colors and and since then, I started taking a, a lot of pictures and I was amazed to find out that certain pictures had uh, pink, pink clouds. And um, in the summer, it was almost dark at noon. Uh, and um, in Israel, there is uh, no... Um, rain and it's uh, sunny and blue skies for half a year so i thought oh my god and how people don't see this i mean it looks like it's going to rain and it was like almost night and um, then i contacted um, someone who had a very popular uh, website, news website, alternative news website here in Israel. They had uh, half a million visits um, back then. And I told him, look, this is so strange. And look at the pictures that I took. And he was very, how to say, he completely denied it. He said, Shoshi, I looked at it. We don't have it here. And I don't believe what you're, what you're telling me, and no one will believe you. So I said, okay, I get it, so what will make people believe it? He told me, well, write about it and find a lot of evidence, hard evidence. So for two weeks, I searched for evidence, and to my shock, I was very shocked, I found so much evidence that I was devastated. I, I didn't know how to react to this because there were lists of patterns. There were people, whistleblowers from uh, different countries, like a German engineer uh, in the aviation industry, I think, who was dismissed after he became a whistleblower. And he explained how they installed these camp these systems of chemtrails, of spraying chemtrails by airliners. I mean, can you believe it? That it's actually, it's not military, it's like civil airlines, like national airlines. Mm -hmm. I found out this about El Al, which is the Israeli national airline, and I was, what? And, and so and so and so forth, like Ted Gunderson, who was an extremely brave man. He was uh, the head of the FBI in Los Angeles, and he was assassinated. According to his uh, friend, he was uh, poisoned. 
because he warned and he shouted from the top of his lungs in, uh, on YouTube, you can find him. Um, and it was uh, hard. It was hard, but uh, I found out about it. And since then, I um, started to find out about smart meters installed here in four cities. And, um, and for anyone, this is um, a note because people think that uh, what is called the New World Order has no place in Israel and we don't have 5G and we don't have smart meters or fluoridated water. I wish it was true. The people here are fighting and struggling um, as I'm going to talk about it worldwide. Um, it is here like everywhere else. So the chemtrails were the start of your journey into awakening. Yes. So then what did you do after that? So because you dive, you dove into more things, you started investigating more into other stuff. Or did the I other stuff that I come up afterwards? I started investigating other stuff and continue writing about this to this uh, news uh, alternative news website and I got all together, I also wrote my blog and um, I had 20,000 visits combined which is a lot in Israel, 20,000, 20 K yeah. yeah. to all my uh, articles and people then I started writing about this because I couldn't find any information about this in Hebrew. Yeah. And um, I noticed how the perception of this, um, not manager, he was uh, the webmaster and he owned this website. He told me that I'm doing something for humanity to something great for humanity. I didn't feel this way at the moment, at the time. I just felt that I want to scream. They are poisoning us. They are killing us. And no one knows. I didn't know and I started to um, sign people on petitions, my neighbors, and then I realized that this is nationwide that it won't help. And we and the thing is that it moved from this negative stuff. And then in 2014, I found out about the positive stuff, about the event. I mean, it's all, it all happens simultaneously. The good and the bad, like in this uh, Western era, the, the, the ugly, how the, I forgot the name of this, uh, Western era, the ugly, the I forgot. Anyway, it's um, and I, f I found out about the event, and I tried to wake up people and to get ready to this. I didn't know what it is, but they said that we need to prepare for two weeks that we don't we might not have food supplies or to have uh, cash for two weeks and uh, it moved on so and so for years until uh, two years ago almost two years ago I said I noticed that people also among activists because I'm an activist for 20 years for many years in Israel and I noticed that people are so hopeless and I knew about the event. I knew that not everything is dark and that it's the darkest before dawn and that we are actually saving ourselves. So I, I thought I must write about this. I must do this. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I, I have to do this. And uh, I started writing this book, which was more awakening 
to the very, very dark aspect of this dark agenda. Very, very dark. And uh, I had uh, weeks that I was unable to write. I was spending time on the beach because I had to uh, charge myself. I couldn't do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah. what can you do when, when you find out about this? I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy and it's true. Yeah. Yeah, you're in shock. Yeah. Totally yeah. shocked. Disbelief. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the chemtrail, uh, Hannah Kroger, she does um, like a homeopathic, but it's more vibrational. And she knew this 40 years ago. She was preparing a vibrational like uh, drops for people that would be experiencing the chemtrails. So that's how long they've been doing this. Very long time. I know. Yeah. Yeah. According to the Wellington, they started with the chemtrails because they do it worldwide. They started testing this. Uh, in, in the U.S., it was 65 years ago. Mm. And they did it in Europe, too. They created floods with it. It's crazy. Yeah. I yeah. wrote about it, and, and I'm still... I'm. It's difficult to follow it, too. Yeah. Well, the beautiful thing is, is what you're doing is you're really letting the world know to awaken. And that's what we're really all about. It's to bring information to humanity, the truth, so people can awaken to what is really going on. Because we have been programmed and conditioned for so long that we think this is all there is. Not knowing what's going on behind the scenes, right? Because we've given away our power. And that's another thing. It's getting back our authority, which we're going to talk about what's happening, you know, this mass awakening you're going to share with us, that it's happening worldwide, that people are starting to wake up and realize, wait a minute, this is not right. Something is definitely going on. And I think the more of us that do this, the more that we're getting that information out there and being able to help people to awaken. So I commend you, you know, for taking action because of something that you were like, I got to do something. I can't let this happen, you know? And so one person took on. That's what it takes. It's just each of us individually to make a decision to try and change something, to do something each day to inspire, to change, right? But we have to change ourselves first. Yeah, so thank you. I agree with you. It requires one person. One person and then awaken one person at a time. Yeah. Look, I'm in Israel, you're in America, and I don't know where are all these people who are watching us. And we awaken each other because yes. it's also a vibration. I think it's a vibration because it's like infectious. Oh, yeah. I see the mass awakening throughout the years. My awakening as well as my friends awakening, because at the beginning, my best friends were ridiculing me. When I first started talking about the campus, they were totally ridiculing me. And then after a while, they realized that it's true because they noticed very strange things in their reality, in their area, and they started taking photos like crazy and posting them to yeah. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> so, so everyone who is watching, don't be, how to say, don't feel that you're small or if you're ridiculed that you're, it's worthless. No. Go on, you will see, even if it's your spouse that uh, thinks that it helps. It helps in every, in, but it takes time. Yeah. We need to be patient, patient to ourselves and to others. 
Yeah. Well, it's divinely orchestrated. It's not going to happen too soon, too late. It's just going to be right on time. And it does take strategic, you know, Trump is doing things very strategically um, to uh, make things occur. And, you know, yeah, it doesn't happen just, you know, it can happen in a flip of a switch if that's what the divine decides to do, you know. But I think, like you said, the more of us that are um, awakening, um, the better. And that's what this is all about. So, and you do have a book. She wrote a book, The Mass Awakening. And where can people get a hold of and get your book? On Amazon? On Amazon, Barnes and & Noble. And uh, you can also go to my website, which is massawakening.org. And uh, then you can find it. Uh, you can also find the articles uh, where I post every uh, every week and videos on different uh, subjects. Okay, awesome. So let's go into if you, unless there's anything more you want to share about your own your personal story. Um, let's go into how the awakening is manifesting worldwide. Okay. Well. I'll start by saying that the mass awakening is manifested differently worldwide. It's not only the yellow vests which are awesome, and uh, they are inspiration to all of us. And uh, I would like to start actually with a place that people don't expect people to awaken to. Um, I'm speaking about Iran. Yes, I-R-A-N, and uh, they have their restart um, opposition movement, and they are very brave, um, and it's about a complete transformation. They don't speak about only a reform. It's like starting from the beginning, it's about uh, separation of church and state, it's about individuality, it's about love, and, uh, and about freedom. And um, something personal that happened to me recently in the last couple of days, I spoke about the Restart uh, Opposition Movement in uh, the first video for my book and uh, an article. And I saw on Twitter one uh, woman uh, with a mask and with a board or um, I don't know how you call it, it's like uh, something cardboard, made of cardboard with Q and restart, uh, restart movement yeah. and she was from Iran with a mask and uh, I wrote below that uh, I wrote about them an article, I mentioned them in an article and in the video and Iranians so many Iranians reacted to me I thought that I will get hate messages but there were only gratitude I mean wow and they were grateful that I exposed this because only Infowars reported about this movement which is amazing in my opinion because the, this information is highly suppressed and um, the person who leads them, they, uh, he ran away to the US, to America. Now, other forms of mental awakening, which are amazing, and Michael Flynn uh, talked about, it's, um, digital, it's us, you and me and everyone, who spreads this information, digital soldiers or keyboard soldiers. And, uh, and uh, I think um, he also called us uh, citizen journalists. And uh, I will mention a few like Jordan Sather, who is amazing. And he has, um, I think that he amassed a, a following of um, over one, 100k in less than a year and his commentary is amazing uh, he also 
provides commentary on Q that I don't really understand his readers, but he is amazing and he provides a lot of alternative information about health, how to protect your health uh, against vaccines, um, all sorts of information, how to cleanse the body of uh, GMOs and chemtrails and um, he speaks about a lot of information. Now uh, there, is, there are other excellent, um, excellent channels like uh, Edge of Wonder um, that is amazing uh, information. X22 report who focus, uh, that focuses on uh, our financial liberation, how it's happening, uh, what Trump does in this aspect, which is very important, because our the current financial system is a debt slavery system, and uh, it's really good information. Um, SGT report, I think, uh, Pray Medic. There are so many. And um, something else that I have to mention is that there are two things are very confusing. Because on one hand, there is a massive censorship on social media right now. <laughs> on all the big giants like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, especially with vaccines, it's nuts. But, okay, and the social media was created in order to provide surveillance uh, for yeah. the debate. Surveillance and control us, uh, I mean, it's better than the KGB, as people say. <laughs> But, on the other hand, what we did, what humanity did, and for this, I say kudos to humanity, if I can say so, because we use the social media in order to awaken humanity, yeah. in order to spread the truth. So now, yeah. they are like this um, Dutch kid, I don't know if you know this story about the Dutch kid that... Um, he put uh, his finger in the dam in order not to drown, um, to flood the Netherlands. And that's what the deep state is trying to do right now. They are trying, like the little uh, kid, to put their finger in order to stop yeah. the dam. But the dam is, yeah. they can't yeah. <laughs> it's all yeah. for them. It's over yeah. for the new state. Yeah. So um, this is this is a very big thing. Um, I will also mention because it's not only the grassroots like um, the restart movement, and uh, it's about, for example, about uh, latest um, elections in uh, Latin America, for example. Let me see if I remember his name. Uh, oh, yes, Obrador Lopez, the newly elected uh, president of Mexico. He's an anti-globalist, which means anti-New World Order or uh, anti-New World Disorder, because they are nuts. I'm not going to... Um, and the other one is called the Trump of the Tropics. It's uh, the new elected Brazil president. And I hope that I pronounce it correctly. Brazilian, if there are any Brazilian priests, PM, if, I say, if I don't say it correctly, I see that is Jair Bolsonaro. Okay? So. Um, and they both won the election in a landslide. So it's from all directions, this mass awakening. You can see it from, not only from one direction, and it's everywhere. You can see this in Africa. I have uh, information in my book uh, um, about Africa, how they um, provided information to all the world with the 
really poor means that they have, they try to spread the message of, about the Ebola the, that only people who were vaccinated, they got this disease. So they tried to spread it, they took uh, videos of people getting money for pretending to be <coughs> to, to die of Ebola. So um, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah. And so we don't not only have the Yellow Vest movement as we talked about in Europe, but I mean, I love the fact that Iran, Mexico, you're talking about um, Brazil, you know, the Venezuela, you know, the new president there. Um, yeah. I, I'm so sorry about Venezuela. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, know, yeah. I know about it for five years, but this is, and I don't know yeah. how they will be saved. Mm, it's really heartbreaking. Divine intervention. So yeah, it um, is. Yeah. And I think that. Uh, things will be taken care of you know things will come in things are going to shift and happen i mean we just can put that energy out there as you know because the one of the other things you talked about too the mass worldwide is all the meditation that people are getting together and thousands of people at a certain time of day which has a huge mass effect in the world so just with that if all of us are focusing our attention on really what's to uh see a different outcome for that, you know what I mean? That we could have a different outcome. I didn't, I didn't think about it. I, I need to check if there is a mess meditation for yeah. Venezuela because they definitely need a, a huge mess meditation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I agree. Yeah, that's, yeah. So, that's awesome. so awesome. I love that. Um, Anything else you want to share on it? And I just love the idea how the social media was used for surveillance. And yet, like you said, we've used it just to all, I mean, as to our benefit, which they never thought. And I just think that's so powerful, you know, that we have come this far and really have uh, making platforms available because there's so many things out there. You mentioned something about a financial liberation. Who was that? Ubuntu. Ubuntu Liberation Movement. It was uh, founded it by uh, Ubuntu from South Africa. How do you spell that? It's U B U N. Let me see. You want to? It's U uh, B U N T U. Okay. I will send it. I will send all the links to all uh, the information. I will send everything so people can uh, uh, follow all the sources and uh, they can uh, listen and read because there uh, there. Are, are so many there there is so much information good information if you're not where to look at, to search for it yeah. Um, yeah. yes can we put that in the post that when we after the show when I read you the show can we put that in the post maybe that yes. people can actually connect to those links okay perfect okay yeah, that would course. be awesome I, 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 uh, I will send you all the information and you will have the links very organized and uh, about Ubuntu, uh, this is an economic, uh, economic uh, system that is called, con now this is hard, I'm sure that it's even hard for the founder to say this word, contributionism, I don't spell Yeah, contributionism, it. yeah. <laughs> That's a hard one. It's about the turn the competition into a contribution that every person in the community needs to contribute like three hours a day, uh, except for their own, uh, usual work, uh, three hours not per day but per week, and and um, so they uh, create prosperity for everyone. 
and it's a prosperity not only in food, clothing, um, shelter, but also in entertainment, in every aspect that makes people happy. And um, the interesting part about this system is that money was created as um, slavery or to enslave us. But, and they use this form of, um, they use money at the beginning. And they use it in order to liberate themselves of money until the communities um, become self-sufficient. So they don't need it anymore. They don't need money. This I is very that. interesting, yeah. very, very interesting, and it's spreading worldwide. I uh, read about the UK that towns um, ask to ask uh, Michael Telliger and his crew to help them um, make this change in their communities. I think it's called one small town at a time. Oh. And uh, it's happening in Canada. I have a friend who oh. knows him, and he he was asked to be the the representative or the person who helps with um, the implementation of this particular financial si economic system in small communities in Canada, and uh, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And this is from South Africa. You see? It's from all over. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I love that. Wow. Yes. There are other forms of mass awakening, which is the crowdfunding. For example, uh, David Wilcock um, talked about a whistleblower. I think it's Pete Peterson who uh, confirmed what Corey Good and, and, and another uh, whistleblower told uh, David Wilcock, and this person lost everything. I mean, um, he described it that his house was raised. I don't know how they said that it was raised. Like, everything was, I mean, even the... Uh, they checked their walls, they, uh, they, they made their walls fall because they looked for information. If he hid in, uh, information in the walls, he actually did. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. in order to avenge what he did, even the sofas, they, they were like, they destroyed everything, all the furniture, everything all the laboratory, uh, the laboratory, and he had a crowdfunding for $5,000 and he received $12,000 from people that are just like you and me. Yes. This is so beautiful. Yeah. And in Israel, in Israel um, a very a high a respected uh, official at the tax authority, which is uh, the equivalent of the IRS in America, he found out that it's so corrupt. Yeah. And uh, uh, what goes there, it's more like a mafia, like a mafioso in Israel, and uh, since he became a whistleblower, they completely destroyed him financially, personally, and um, he, he sued him. He sued the government and, um, and the tax authority, and the slogan was, uh, they uh, control us, so let's sue them, or something like this. Uh, and uh, he had a crowdfunding for, and he got more than $50,000 here in Israel. A lot of 
Um, the protests here in Israel, the mass awakening in Israel takes place more in crowdfunding campaigns against fluoridation of the water at the Supreme Court, uh, against the compulsory participation in uh, the biometric database, which makes Israel, I'm sorry to say, a police state. Yeah. I mean, they can. I mean, everyone who travels, and uh, they do awful things here. So people join this compulsory um, database of IDs and passports. So there's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. That was one of my questions I was going to ask you, like what's going on with Israel? Well, yeah, Israel so a lot going on there. And there are alternative, um, alternative um, TV that is uh, by the people, for the people, completely. They are not well known. They are on YouTube. Not a lot of uh, people know about them, but they talk about everything, about the legal system here, which is totally compromised and corrupt. I mean, people don't know that People who watch the mainstream media, they don't understand what's going on because the legal system here, if you look at the architecture, and I tell everyone now who is watching, go and check about the Supreme Court in Israel and the Illuminati. And you'll see how they did it. You will see the architecture, the pyramids, they are all I see, they are all seeing eye. You'll see everything. There was even a joke about it in um, a sitcom, an Israeli sitcom. They joked about it that uh, it's so, it's also here. People yeah. are working yeah. and uh, the uh, the system, the deep state here is trying to block this this awakening. For example, we have the election. The, the upcoming elections are on April 9th, and uh, there are going to be massive uh, surprises here. Mm. Nothing on is what day? It's on April 9th. Yeah, okay. uh, within uh, three weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, first of all, they blocked the first direct democracy uh, movement party here in Israel, which is called Kola Am, which is Voice of the People. And I said that I'm voting only for them because this is for the people, by the people, as you say in America. They are the only ones. Yeah. Not to force of vaccinations and what is going on here is completely nuts. Um, so um, they block them. Actually, actually, people from the Likud party, uh, headed by the Benjamin Netanyahu, they blocked this party from running. Wow. They pretended, they uh, registered and pretended that they are there. And they just stole the, uh, stole the right to get elected because here it's many parties. It's not president like in the United States. So I'm waiting because they are working with lawyers and in the Supreme Court and hopefully they are going to get in and be registered. Um, and the thing is that people, uh, for two parties here, they stopped voting either by left or right. Also with this party, people from all sectors, left, right, religious, non-religious, everyone votes for these parties. No division of left and right. And this is the first, this is an indication that people are awakening that the left and right and Republican and Democrat is a divide and conquer. And here, two parties are already uniting people. Wow. 
Yeah. Yes. And there is another party that is headed by a religious man. And actually, I'm afraid for his life because if he's going to be successful, I just, I'm afraid for him. I'm afraid. Um, we need to pray also for what's going on here. And he also unites people uh, because his uh, platform is very interesting. On the, uh, he's religious, but he's for separation of, of church and state. Like with the restart movement, you see the same thing. He says that forcing religion on people is doing the other way around. It's repulsing people. It's repulsive. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we need to be free. We need to get our freedom back. And um, it's about uh, how you say it, um, uh, legalizing cannabis because there are, as people say, there are a million, we are eight million Israelis, and one million is considered here felons because they, um, they use uh, cannabis. Uh, also, sick people are not allowed to use here the CBD, I think, and um, I really wish that the deep yeah. state will soon collapse worldwide because people suffer worldwide. Absolutely, yeah. Well, it's coming. You know, we're just, I think the more of us that <clears throat> we do this and we, you know, put forth this effort and really let people know that they can start taking back their own authority. Mm -hmm. Like you did, you know, yeah. one person. And look where you're at today. It's huge. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're so welcome. Wow, a lot going on. I just, it's like, you know, you've really done your research as far as Iran, Mexico. I mean, you know, we wouldn't know that, you know, because we don't hear a lot about that stuff, you know. We hear bits and pieces because, you know, the mainstream is still, you know, there's still some fake news out there. There's, this, you know, one station that's airing a little bit of uh, good stuff. But, um, but yeah, we're still a work in progress for sure. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything more you want to say on that, um, other than because I want to talk about your shift in your perception. If you want to talk about that, um, or if you want to go into Trump's space program too, that's another one. I think I will talk about. Um, I think that the change in my perception and my awakening. I think um, it's interesting because. I had a much more negative perspective about humanity. Mm. And my perspective changed during my awakening. And I see a lot of courage. I see a lot of perseverance. Mm -hmm. And I see wisdom worldwide. And I'm listening to people from all over the world, and I have friends from all over the world, so I see how they all do what they can. So I, um, I have this admiration because it's not easy. It's not easy to wake up with all this mind control. Yeah with what we are facing. And um, I have to mention that I don't have a TV. I asked my neighbor to throw it away, my TV. <laughs> so it's gone. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes, and about uh, Trump's Space Force, this is very interesting. Because I'm not sure what Trump knows about the uh, secret space programs. I, I don't know if he's aware because yeah, he I hope so. Because yeah. from my research, uh, but perhaps because Trump is um, 
is not con a conventional president because yeah. he's uh, <laughs> the most militarized uh, president yeah. of the United States, and I'm and I'm grateful to this because they protect him very very well with the militias, and uh, I mean, wow. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, <laughs> this is so amazing. And um, oh. well, because from what I know, the president is at 17 clearance level. And there are so many levels above. But maybe he was... Um, he was uh, informed, updated by his military friends. Um, but what he is doing with the mass awakening is that intentionally or unintentionally, he seeds human consciousness. People start thinking, what does he want with the space force? Is there anything at all to see? I mean. Can we even breathe where he wants to go on Mars, on, on the moon? And um, the thing is that people start thinking about this. He doesn't, it's like uh, the readers, Q readers. I mean, he doesn't yeah. give information straight away. That's why there are so right. many commentators of Q. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't understand anything of when I read this. It's like my head is swollen like this. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I think that Trump is using the same tactic. He is uh, just seeding human consciousness. Even if he got a smaller budget for his space force within the Air Force, he still. Um, managed to create, to stir. Even within the awakened community, he stirred the conversation about the Space Force, um, what is going to happen now with full disclosure, is it going to accelerate because the unawakened hear Space Force. So now perhaps we'll, we will know about the, the super advanced technologies that we have from the extraterrestrials from um, those uh, ships that fell here or where um, so uh, it's very interesting what he is doing yeah and uh, yeah it's very wise because if you start uh, telling people look we are on mars and we are on the moon and we already have these bases and uh, people will say, he's nuts, we know that he's nuts. Yes. I mean, they will not yeah. take him very seriously, but, but the brain, especially because we are so mind controlled, this is a way to awaken because it's not directly, it's like, it's sneaky. Um, yeah. So, uh, people start thinking about uh, what is what is available? What are we going to find out? Um, even if they don't think about this, so this is really exciting when I think about it because maybe finally we'll find out about the real free energy or the anti-gravity and uh, people think by mistake that uh, we and the solar energy are free energy. No, they are not. And um, it's not very effective, by the way. People, countries which use this a lot, which uh, replace it with, with uh, renewal, renewal uh, energies like wind and solar, uh, they have a lot of blackouts. People don't know. Yeah. What I'm talking about free energy is what the excellent documentary Thrive, and I hope that I pronounce it well, Thrive, it's really excellent. Anyone who didn't see this documentary, please see it. It's excellent. 
and they speak about the real free energy, which is from all the entire environment. It's everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, they show the structure of how it's like uh, gathered from the from all the environment. And I think it's connected to, to Tesla. I think this is yeah. the free energy uh, Tesla. And probably, um, I forgot the name of Eric from the one who invented, who found out about Oregon, Oregon, Oregon and energy, which is also free energy. And this is an overnight to protect from uh, the uh, electric, mag uh, magnetic, yeah. magnetic yeah. field. Yeah. Yes, overnight. Yeah. I forgot. He, he died, uh, unfortunately. The deep state killed him. They uh, mm. arrested him because, like Tesla, he found out uh, real free energy that you don't need to pay for it. It's everywhere. And he died in jail. Yeah. I think wow. he was Austrian. Yes. Wow. Well, Trump did mention in one of his um, uh, speeches that he is releasing all the patents. Yeah. So he's going to be releasing patents about free energy and all that. So he will be doing that. But again, everything is being strategically done, and it has to be done so so the deep state doesn't catch on to what he's doing. So there's a reason why he's doing what he's doing, for sure. Yeah. Okay. But he will be releasing those. Yeah. Well, I, I'm really glad because I didn't hear this speech. Mm -hmm. And um, the thing is that he is surrounded by deep state. Today I shared on my um, Facebook auto page and Twitter auto page a very good um, uh, video from the Bird Society. Birch, Birch Society. I forgot. B I R C H. Uh, yes, Bird Society. I forgot the first word. And um, they talked about it that he's surrounded. And I said that Trump is surrounded by snakes. I didn't call it's by deep state. And, and um, during this video, the, were the photos of the of deep status in his government, and I was right about one that I knew because I didn't know the re the rest, but I was very right about one. I knew that he he's he's not he's not good. Yeah, I yeah. knew. Well, he's cutting the heads off the snakes for sure. He's eliminating it. But again, everything has to be done so timely. You know, you just can't get in there and fire everybody. So, and there's a reason why, because maybe he, what he's doing is allowing them to spill their guts, so to speak, right? To slip up and kind of find out what they're doing. So he keeps them in there so he can find out where they're doing and where they're headed right so he's got more ammunition and they'll bury themselves as opposed to him coming out and saying this is what the guy did right it's better to let them bury themselves than trump Keep them close. you know what i mean yes yes Keep your yes. Closer. yes because then they slip up themselves right or he had so he's kind of aware what's going on because he's the president so he has privy to that information or he is privy to that information so yeah because i noticed that That's he my someone that since he was elected i had a gut feeling that he is a deep state and when i checked his background i was i it was confirmed to me, and yeah. he was dismissed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, Rex. Rex Tillerson. He was. Um, yes. I remember. Yes. Yeah. I. I. Uh, this yeah. is what uh, the awakening has done to me. My 
senses are so sharp. I mean, yeah. it's like, I don't know how many faults it, it increased that yeah. I, I feel things and I sometimes don't understand what I feel, but I see things so quickly. And I say, no, you cannot see this so quickly. It's like instantaneous. How can I know about people that I have no idea that are so far away? that I only listen to them for a while, and then I write. Yeah. Same as when I wrote the book. I had theories. I wasn't sure. I had no idea. And then I checked according to various criteria, certain things, and then, lo and behold, what? I'm right? It cannot be that I'm right. And it's like all lining up. Yeah. yeah. I, I, You're being I, downloaded the information. Perhaps. Perhaps this is, this is... But I could find sources. I found evidence. But... Well, I accept your, your uh, suggestion because I have no idea how I did it. I was surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot that's kind of happening. So we just have to really like, you know, look beyond what we see as opposed to looking at it and going, oh, that's what and look yeah yeah that's awesome well let's talk about the uh, military tribunal that that was one of the uh, uh, okay well people first of all many people I, I uh, follow I read a lot of comments uh, below YouTube videos and I found out that many people in the awakened community they are very skeptical I mean uh, a lot of for many years we think that there will be full disclosure and mass arrest and nothing happened so people are really really skeptical that anything happens. They promised us to this mass arrest. Where they are they? We don't see them. Where are the military tribunals? Are they uh, just telling us stories that they, they happen and they are not? So this is uh, my, my thoughts from my research, okay? So everything you need to discern and you need to research and yeah. find, your own, find your own answers. But this is my the answer that I found. Yes. From uh, what I hear from David Wilcock, one of the recent episodes on Edge of Wonder, mm -hmm. he said specifically, that from his sources, and it's multiple sources, they all said the same thing. The military tribun tribunals started at the beginning of January, January 2nd. And they are held in different locations, not only in Gitmo. Today I also um, uh, posted an update about the military tribunals because there are different dates for the military tribunals for those involved in 9-11, which is going to be held at Kitmo on March 28th, this month, at the end of this month, very important. Um, I know and perhaps the, I, I don't, uh, I'm uh, checking whether these um, people 
that are supposed to be in Guantanamo Bay prison, federal prison, whether they tweeted from uh, since uh, December 5th, I think. Yeah. And uh, how is it that I'm following their tweeters and uh, everyone is following and there's nothing from Obama, nothing from uh, Michelle or Michael Obama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's going to come out too. <laughs> nothing from Hillary or Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> nothing yeah. from, uh, from uh, um, Bush Jr. Many years ago, uh, Christmas, uh, many years ago, of Hillary Clinton. Uh, I don't know where is Ginsburg, this um, judge. Where is she? Everyone is looking for her. Is she dead? Mm -hmm. Is she in Gitmo? Who knows? So um, something is very strange. Um, I believe that we don't hear from them is because they cannot talk freely. And that's why we don't see them on mainstream media. The mainstream media still is owned by the deep state. We have to see them. I mean, if there are so many rumors on, on social media that they are at Gitmo, the deep state would have shown updated pictures of them, right? Or videos. And not their doubles, but their originals. Because I hear from Utsava, I, I cannot pronounce her name. She said that uh, if you see Hillary Clinton somewhere, it's a double and she looks much younger. Yeah. I've heard so, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. look, everything sounds so uh, science fiction that I call our reality, our science fiction reality. So, um, I'm telling these things and it makes me smile because one yeah. day I have some great stories to tell our family and we are the pioneers, all of us, yeah. all the yeah. early rises, early awakeners. So uh, we are our own saviors, remember this. Yeah. You, me, everyone who watches, who and who follows other, of course, other channels, um, alternative channels, um, we help awakening, awaken even those who ridicule us. So go on, yeah. inform yourself, discern, because we are making this change together. Yeah, and. Um, at one time, there will be this 100 monkey effect and it will become yeah. massive. And we, we are the ones causing the full disclosure. We are waiting for the full disclosure, but we are the full disclosure. Yeah. 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 Don't you pay attention that the citizen, citizens making arrest or attempt attempting to arrest uh, this is also not in the mainstream media uh, to solve the ritual sacrifices in Europe um, you don't know but yeah. two, two years ago yes I was so shocked um, very brave policemen in in the Netherlands in Switzerland in France in Italy, Together with citizens, together with volunteers, with citizens, they attempted to arrest um, the senior people at the Ninth Circle, um, yeah. Ninth Circle uh, at the Vatican, and uh, they managed to stop this in several places and save. Uh, some kids in France, I don't know if in um, Switzerland, but they were unsuccessful in Washington DC and the Vatican and they proceeded. I mean, 
how they felt that they were so yeah. close. They were so yeah. close and uh, they were unable because they were protected by a semi-military, by a paramilitary force. Yeah, yeah, sad. It's really sad. Yeah. You know, it reminds me, I wrote down, <clears throat> um, and I thought this years ago, the Hunger Games, when the Hunger Games first came out, of course, The Matrix 2. These are movies that are like, you think it's fiction, but those were actually movies trying to tell us something, right? That we are being controlled, you know? And if people just realized it's, you don't just get up, go to work, do your job, come home, eat, go to sleep, get up, go to work. That's not a life, you know? So, yeah, and it's horrific to think um, that everything was going down, but, you know, that's all going to come around and be different. And, you know, there's soul contracts and things like that, and, you know, but it's a shame to see what's happening. But those people that are doing these acts are really good. I mean, you know, we're not the judge, you know, but uh, they will be taken care of, I'm sure, in the way that they should be. You know, it's not us to make that decision. It's for us to bring out the truth. So, and Trump, I think he's going to do a good job in doing whatever he does to take care of in the execution of who he needs to execute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I think that the military, the, the, good, the good guys at the military, the U.S. military, are doing an amazing job. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He, Trump has got some good military. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Well, do you want to um, say anything? Is there anything else you want to just add before we go into question and answer? Um, no, I, th I think that I will want to answer questions. Okay. Perfect. All right. We're going to open it up to a question and answer, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm delayed. So if there's anybody that has any questions, um, question down, we will ask. I know Matt, comment. Yes, please do comment. Let's see. Matthew, if you're still there, you can comment. Sorry about that. And if anybody has a question to ask Shoshi, please put your question there. I didn't just talk to see if there was any questions. Oh, let me go down further and see if there is. Uh, let's see. Hi, everybody. That's right. Linda says the Great Awakening cannot be stopped. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, uh, Patricia Ann says, fun to Michael Tellinger. Michael Tellinger. Michael Tellinger is the founder of Ubuntu Liberation Movement from South Africa. Yeah. I'm going to say. Oh, okay. So, Jen. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah, we'll get all the links. We'll get all the links, you guys, and I'll make sure we get all that posted so you guys have information. Because I know Rick wants to check into that. I was supposed to send those and I forgot. Um, Jenny has a question. Is 2019 the year for massive change? Is what? I'm 2019. Sorry. Yes. 2019. The year for massive change. Uh, is 2019 a year of massive change? Did I hear you correctly? Yes. Okay. Oh, definitely yes. Because um, from what I know, and uh, I'm going to actually give you a peek into my uh, next uh, article, which is about the financial system. And from what I know, it's imminent. The QFS that Rick Jewess spoke about, 
and uh, the shift, the reset, the RV. From what I hear from multiple sources, this is the year. And Jasara, uh, that we all wait for uh, the abolition of IRS and, uh, and Jubilee. Jubilee? Yeah, yeah. You say. yeah. Yes. Apparently, apparently it's coming and it's very close. And I'm getting information because I follow so many sources, both spiritual and non spiritual. And uh, it appears that from uh, the practical level, the level of global debt is so huge that it cannot be contained anymore. So this financial system is being taken down. And from what I know, the QFS, which is the quantum financial system, which is, I think, based on a computer that is kind of biological computer, it's, uh, it has intelligence, it's not AI, it's not artificial intelligence, yeah. it's uh, authentic intelligence. Uh, this, is, this is huge. Um, and it's going to happen apparently soon. And from what I know from, um, uh, what's her name, uh, Alison Cole, who provides accounts of people, of her clients, in QHHT um, sessions that are, I think she, it's kind of hypnotic or they are not hypnotized and they reveal about what is coming. I mean, and she talks, I, I don't know if you believe in it or not. There are people who don't believe in it. Um, about the event. Have you heard about the event? Mm -hmm. Linda, have you heard about the event? Yes. Okay. Yes. So she speaks about it that is, uh, it's also imminent. That it was supposed to happen in 2018. But the level of awakening was was not sufficient, but it's sufficient this year. It's like we reached a mass quantity of humanity that is awakened and we can take it. Last year it wasn't enough, it wasn't sufficient, but uh, this year it is. So it's like everything is coming together, both the financial system and the event, and probably we'll see also the tribunals, because right now they are in secret. And they keep it in secret because, uh, and they are afraid of leaks, because yeah. they are afraid, I think, of the population's reaction and the deep state to react. Um, as, you, as, you, as you saw in New Zealand. I mean... Yeah. 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 It well, was the tribunals, they're going to... The tribunals, yes. they're only going to have uh, alternative media filming those. The mainstream media will not be able to film. Yes. So it will not be leaked out. So it'll be shown when we're ready to be to, it's to be seen. Yeah. And what you're talking about is the tipping point. We've reached the tipping point this exactly. year. Yes. Can I, you explain I, I, a little bit? <laughs> Sorry, there, I know there's a delay. Can you explain the event for people who will be joining the show who are not aware of what the event is? Okay. Uh, well, this is a term or something that was one of the most complex things for me to understand. From what I learned from several sources, uh, one of them is David Wilcock, 
also uh, Dolores Cannon, uh, and also from Alison Cole, they speak about a solar flash, a huge solar flash that appears like an iridescent purple or pink color. Mm -hmm. And um, the thing is that this wave, this kind of wave, will shift human consciousness instantaneously. Now, those who are not service to others, let's say that they are more service to self, to themselves, to their own selfish uh, desires, and they don't care, they would not be able to hold this energy and they might um, what is called dissension because this wave is causing us to move into a different dimension instantaneously. Yeah. I hope that I explained yeah. correctly because it's yeah. still yeah. difficult for me. I, I, I am yeah. Yeah. I'm really sincere about this. It's it is difficult for me to comprehend. And uh, it's not only consciousness, but we are going at the moment something that is called, we are moving our DNA, our bodies are moving from uh, carbon based into crystalline, yeah, to crystalline, to crystalline yeah. uh, based. Um, and um, this will shift everything about us because mm -hmm. if I understand correctly, if we move like this to 5D, mm -hmm. then it's about love, it's about unity, yeah. it's about harmony. Yeah. Oh, this is like a really beautiful, great, beautiful, beautiful dream. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, so, it's not a dream. Uh, it's a real, really happening. I agree about yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be amazing. We're actually going to go from a two-strand DNA to a twelve-strand, and I believe those have already been happening with the solar flares and what's coming through the sun. This influx of energies that's just been really rapid this past week and beforehand. So yeah. Is yeah, it connected to, to, the, to the Schumann resonance? Is it connected to the Schumann uh, resonance, to this graph with these white things? Well, Schumann I, resonance. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I believe that it is. I, don't quote me on that, but I believe that it is because the mother, the earth, is really all about, the, you know, that's the, um, the Schumann resonance of the earth ascending, right? So when she's ascending because of these energies, because it's all, it's all, we're all together, you know, I mean, we're all affected in all of this. So, cause we are part of the planet, you know, we are of the earth. So, um, yeah. So it's all interrelated for sure. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's great. I love it. I love it. Thank you for that. Thank you, Jenny. And Jenny has another question. What about the vaccine? Um, is 2019 the year for, uh, no, will the people win the vaccine war? I wish I had an answer for yeah. this. Because right now, I can tell you that the situation is deteriorating in my opinion, both in America, and I see it in Israel. I mean, 115 out of 120 of members of Knesset, Knesset is the, the Israeli parliament, voted for compulsory vaccinations. In, uh, in Italy, that the people managed, I thought that they managed to um, cancel these compulsory vaccinations, the deep state, they brought it back against the people, wishes. 
And in Italy, both uh, those who are pro-vaccines and those who are skepticals or anti-vaccines or parents to injured uh, kids by vaccines, they all protested together. And despite this, they think this compulsory vaccinations in Italy. So my hope, and this is connected to what I, I've said before, that the uh, quantum financial system is imminent, the event is imminent, yeah. and this is, yep. when these things happen, the deep state yeah. is gone. They are gone because they don't have even 2% of service to others. So we need to pray. We need to pray that this event and that this is happening sooner because the, the deep state is moving very fast right now with the 5G rollout, with compulsory vaccinations. Look around you. It's scary. And yeah. I'm not talking about the infanticide that, that I find it difficult to, to fall asleep. Yeah. And I never even thought about much about abortions, but now it's so much in the face and it's so devastating. Mm -hmm. And they are killing so many children and others too that yeah, our body parts that we need to pray that this shift in consciousness and event happens very soon so they are gone yeah. so well they, i will say that oh sorry please well i will say that rick and i um talked about this too that in the in the event that 4D people who wish to remain in that 4D timeline will experience what they're experiencing. When we rise with this event and the ascension and the 5D even above, like you said, the deep state cannot reside in that because it's not of love, right? So where we're headed, that's not going to exist. And it is eminent, as you said, and I think, too, that if you're experiencing any of that now, we have the right not to consent. I mean, that is in the Constitution, your freedom. And so we can bring that against them. It's taking back our authority and not allowing things like this. If I have a child that they need a vaccination, absolutely not. I'm not going to do it. And I don't care if the kid can't go to school, then my child's not going to go to school. Do you know what I mean? Because we have the right to do that. And the more that we each as an individual take that stand, that's when things will change. As you have said throughout the whole show with Italy and, and, and uh, uh, Europe and Iran and Mexico, you know, and France, we're all taking back our authority. But as you said, this is imminent. The event is going to take place. This, well, it, everything's going to happen this year, but I really feel it's happening very, very, very soon. We don't know dates because everything isn't a timely thing, but it is about us standing up and saying, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't have to because I, if I'm involved in anything that's corrupt and illegal, then I have the right not to step into that. And everything that is that is is already corrupt. You're right, but what I'm concerned and what I'm seeing here in Israel huh. is that the child services or welfare services they uh, still they uh, kidnap children from such parents. Yeah. especially from single mothers and from poor yes. people. I have to yes. tell you and, and the audience something that is totally shocking for me as an Israeli, okay? An entire Jewish Israeli family 
converted to Islam and moved to the Palestinian Authority in order to keep their children because they are in heavy debt and they kidnapped one of their children and they said, we love our children, but we have debt and uh, ser these services, they took one of their, do their daughters and they were afraid for the other uh, for the other children, so they moved to the Palestinian Authority and converted to Islam. Wow. Yeah. So well, that's because they can, because we're we're a corporate. Uh, we are is an individual. We're corporate property to them, and exactly. that's where it has to change. So yeah. saying no to this doesn't help. I know about so many. I'm reading, I'm, I'm an activist in all these social matters. And I know about so many parents who committed suicide because their children were taken from them forcefully by the government. So, um, this has to stop. It has to stop. Yeah. It has to stop. Yeah. 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 So I don't I have an easy answer for Jenny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we just, we do, we have to really keep um, trusting in the divine that it is all orchestrated and it is a very timely thing and my heart goes out to all that have uh, suffered and lost their lives due to truth right and what what is so important to them which is their children their family you know it breaks my heart so yeah. absolutely I'm sorry, it's, it's, this is the hardest for me. It's, yeah. Yeah, I feel you because I'm in that space right now. Yeah. No matter how much I will speak about it and disclose about it, it hurts. It yeah. Hurts. Yeah. So, I feel the pain. I, I'm praying. I'm praying a lot. Yeah. Yeah. so that these atrocities will stop because yes. no parent and no child has to go through this. Yeah. 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 No, nowhere. Nowhere in the world. Yeah. And, um, exactly. and Although you have a constitution, it was abolished, you know. You know that they can't uh -huh. it. They, so they changed they, it, yeah. Yes, yeah. they awarded it. And, yeah. uh, we, yes. we don't even yeah. have a constitution. We don't have it. Wow. Yeah. But one day we will have a constitution for Earth for air, for humanity, for the animals, for everything. Yes. And everything yes. will be protected. Because, yes. and, because yes. everything is divine. Yes. No one should go through something. Yeah. No one. Yeah. Well, our hearts go out to them and to Israel. And to everywhere. And it's to everywhere. And, because everyone yeah. suffers. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we're going to make this change. We're going to do this. All one of us, all angels. We're going to really, you know, before anybody else gets hurt, it's like, you know, we got to do this. And that's why this is so important to be on this platform speaking and sharing this all over the world. It's gonna be on YouTube, Instagram, and really letting people know what really is existing and what we can do as humanity to change that. 
Yes. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for bringing all these topics. Yeah, you're so welcome. Well, I appreciate each and every one of you for coming forth and wanting to be willing to share that and being willing to make the change. You know, so it's a blessing. So thank you. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh. Much love to you, Daniela. Let's see. Um, uh, um, they are trying to detail the awakening. Yes. Uh, abortion was forerunner and found your election. Movement, the awareness. Um, yeah. Thank you, Daniela. Absolutely, I agree. Daniela was saying, yes, 100%. What I say last week to my friends, no matter what, I have a child, I'm not going to put any vaccine in it. But, you know, um, you take a chance and a risk, you know, but we just have to pray and hope and put out there for divine, you know, it's just we really got to be there, you know, in that space and just know that we are protected. I think that's key because I feel that when we put fear, then that just gives them more ammunition because that's what they live off of is our fear. That's their food supply. And as long as people are in fear, that is feeding them. But as long as we know that we have the divine protection, we are protected no matter what, and we put them in that protection, and there is no fear that, you know what, you can't come against me because I have a right. You know, whatever it is that you have to do is stand up for yourself, you know, and just be in that space, not in fear for sure. That's going to be really key. Um, uh, let's see. I'm looking for a question. Anybody have any questions for I'm going up the line here? Any more questions? Yes, thank you, Daniela. Yes. Yeah, everyone has to speak more truth, more the truth. Absolutely. But they don't know what they don't know. That's why we're bringing this information. Because people don't know. They don't know they have an option. You know, they're going to stay in fear because the world looks so horrendous. And what are we going to do? And it does. If you're looking at the world, it looks pretty chaotic. You know? Yeah. People who got brainwashed and are unawakened, mm -hmm. they sometimes feel that it's only a little bit not good, but they feel that everything is okay if once in four years you go and vote for someone who is uh, controlled by a shadow master and they don't know, and they are so um, convinced that everything is fine, and you just need to vote, and uh, if uh, you voted not right, then you're to blame, or especially yeah. those who don't go to vote like me, because I don't want to give legitimacy to illegitimate system, uh, to a lie, to a fraud. Um, corrupt, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I had something about this, and uh, I wrote about this in, in, in the book that uh, right before the last elections here in um, March, it was actually it was March 2015, and I remember that we had lunch. Oh, of all the family, we were, I think, 10 people. And uh, I showed to my sister that uh, Benjamin Netanyahu is part of the CFR. And I showed her about others and that all the last prime ministers in Israel are our CFR, Committee on Foreign Relations, <laughs> which was founded, I think, by the Rockefeller. And people Probably, think yeah. that if you vote for this one or for this one, it, it's different. But it's not. It's the same CFO. They are all agents. 
and uh, and uh, usually Israel is left to fight over politics, politics, religion, you name it, gender, whatever. And uh, the best uh, the best place is lunch. So I told them, look, whatever you vote, it will stay the same because it's a fraud. And the results are all, uh, already known before, before him. So why go and vote? And they told me, no, stop it with your ideas. And you, um, I mean, uh, here it's like, uh, uh, the propaganda says that you need to vote because it's our right and blah, blah, blah. Right. It's not like giving legitimacy to, by giving your ID that it's a fraud. And I said, I shouted at them, do you want me to prove this? And they all shouted to me in unison, no! <laughs> 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 oh gosh. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Yes. Right? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, there you know one day they will awaken. I think what we can do best for ourselves is is we be the change, right? And do what we need to do for ourselves, and then if everybody else around us changes, they do. We can't control other people, but we can sure be a huge light for them and plant the seeds, you know. Exactly. And it's up to them; it's their journey. We're not in control of their journey, you know. It's a choice. Yeah. So, exactly, absolutely, absolutely. I'm with you, girl. I'm with you. <laughs> I am going to. Okay, we have. You what? I don't care where they go. I'm going to five D. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, no. Okay, we have another question from Jenny. Do you know what's happening behind this question mark? July fourth will be a very special celebration. Uh, Donald Trump says, uh, "Salute America." That's his big thing for July fourth. Do you know what's behind that? It's I have an idea, but I don't know. What, what's your thoughts? Independence Day. Yeah, it's, it's Independence Day. So why would he be saying that salute America? We're going to have a big, huge celebration in Washington, D.C., saluting America on July 4th. Maybe it's the Republic, the return of the Republic. Freedom. Freedom for the Americans. Freedom from the so. America of DC. Well, I'm wishing you the you sh I'm wishing you to be really liberated from this cabal in the United States and throw away this Washington DC corporate DC and finally, Jenny, you will not be concerned about compulsory vaccinations or anything that is compulsory. Freedom. Mm. This would be huge. That's huge. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, yeah, because the 4th of July is Independence Day, right? So if you put independence with freedom, that's what independence is. It's being taking back your sovereignty because one of his speeches, he did mention that we will become each sovereign. And so I feel that my interpretation of what he said is that we, that there's going to be more uh, revealing, like it'll be all revealed of what has been going on these last few years, right? And that we will become freedom and that we will have, this will all be taken place. That's my sense, but I don't know. I'm just thinking what my feeling would be on that. It's going to be a great thing though, for sure. Wow. I wish yeah, this for I'm everyone. Ready. I mean, everyone needs an independence day. Yeah. Everyone should be liberated. And I feel they will. I actually um, feel that everybody's going to be liberated. It's not just going to be in USA. We're just the first to break the chain, so to speak. And then the links, everybody else will break. 
Because we're all connected. We are all one. No matter where you're at, we are brothers and sisters, each one of us. Yes. It's amazing. But uh, I believe that it's true. Yes. Very soon. I, I already say, this is how I'm saying goodbye to a friend of mine in Russia. That she told me about the protest in Russia, that the Russian bear is awakening. They had a protest against Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, who threatened to cut off Russia from uh, the internet. And uh, he did this. She was really? she's not able to send me emails, uh, but she was able to send me pictures and a video from the protest by WhatsApp. So uh, if anyone wants to, to see the pictures from uh, this protest in uh, Moscow, in Russia, you can go to my author page on, on Facebook, on Twitter, and see the video and uh, the pictures. She took so many pictures. And um, yes, so the Russians are awakening too. Yes. So awesome. I love it. We're just, I mean, you talk about the show, Manifestations of a, a World, a Mass Awakening. We're here. You know, it's just so beautiful to see that it's just not only just, you know, Europe, but it's all over the place. You it's know, all, like you said, Iran, Mexico. I mean, who would have thought, <laughs> you know, it's so yes. beautiful. See, Israel, you know, same thing. Um, looking for questions here. Uh, hey, everybody who's just tuning in. Thank you. Uh, Daniela says Trump will celebrate the 5D, I think, LOL. I think it will be the best for humans from 5D and all others will be crying, LOL. The ones that try to stop us in the matrix of 3 and 4D. Yeah, well, you know, and everybody, it's a choice. Like, you know, people want to stay in their comfort zone or where they're at being, like you said, that they like it here. And, hey, by all means, you stay here. But that's not where I want to stay. I don't want to be in this mundane because we know there's so much more. We know who we are, you know, and uh, – yeah, th this is not the place, that's for sure. Um, but from what Jenny I says, know, oh, go ahead. From what I know is that full disclosure will help awaken the unawakened and, and um, people will move to 5D, even if right now they are unawakened, they will move to 5D because of this instantaneous solar flash that I found out evidence both from research in the US and in Russia, in Novosibirsk, in a, a research institute from both places. It's, it's amazing. And they both yeah. talk about these things that something is happening in their magnetic field, in the, the sun, so many things. Mm -hmm. And they, they talk about this, that the solar flesh is intelligence. It has intelligence. So I, maybe it's my wishful thinking that I'm going to go with my family who is unawakened and I love them. So maybe I, I'm more in favor of David Wilcox's approach that <laughs> those people who are 51% service to others and my family, I have such kind people in my family that I want to believe in what he says that we are going to move en masse those who are um, in service to others to move en masse to 50 and we will be awakened and the full disclosure will accelerate this process and that's what I want to believe. It's my wishful thinking. We'll see how it manifests. 
I don't know. No. I think the more that we, that's the thing, is that we are creators, right? So you're creating a reality for yourself. Okay. Yeah. So whatever it is that we want to create, we just keep feeding that creation, right? And so, and then we manifest that. Okay. So I think absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think you could now go, not go wrong with the intention. It's like, what is, what is each one's intention? Because intention is important. And so it is, if we have ill intention, it's not going to work. You're not going to go, like, as you said earlier, you're not going to 5D. Love, our um, ill intent doesn't live there, you know, so it's just not going to happen for sure. Um, yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh. Uh, let's see. The solar flash is a great knowledge. Yes. Danielle is like, Russia, yes. Anybody else have any other comments or, or questions <laughs> yeah. that you have for Shoshi? If you do, let's get them up there. Um, otherwise, we are going to close the show down. I don't have any other questions. Um, we pretty much covered a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I think we're good to go. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you very yeah. much. This was uh, an awesome show. And uh, thanks for the listeners and the viewers. Um, you, are the you are the pioneers, the Air Patriots, World Patriots, uh, light workers, light warriors, those who feel alone. But you see, you're not alone. You're in a very big club. And, yes. and uh, more people are constantly joining us. So we are definitely not alone. No more. Yes. We are fighting each other. Yes. yes. Well, it was such a beautiful, and I am so gracious and so thankful to you. And thank you for taking a stand for humanity and diving in, not knowing where it was going to lead you, but trusting that in your heart that you knew that something had to be different and you're here. And so somebody said, when, can you, or when are you coming back <laughs> on the show? Um, we'll have her back as soon as she wants to come back. Um, we can always, you know, Maybe after next week, the 20, you know, I don't know, whenever you want to come back, Shoshi, you know, I'm always open to you to, to be back on the show. So absolutely. And, uh, yeah, so I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yes. I'm in service. Yes. 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 Well, we love you and we appreciate you. And it's, I'm, it's open. So whenever, uh, uh, Oh, Hannah has a question. Uh, do you want to answer one last question before we go? Yes. I know it's late there. Okay. No so Hannah's question is my okay. <laughs> her question is my question is: Do you believe if we are watching this program, we are definitely star seeds? Oh, oh my God! Um, the truth is, I I was told by a friend of mine. Who, who taught me everything about connecting the dots, investigating, discerning, everything. I mean, he is the reason that I was able to write this book, to be able to do this immense research and connect the dots and be there. And he told me several years ago when we met, he told me, you're a Cleadian. And I told him, what is a Cleadian? And he told me, it's a star seed or whatever. And I said, okay, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I told him, how do you know that I'm a star seed? I don't know this about myself. And he told me, look, I have a bit, I feel it in my belly, in my gut, and I have a big belly. So I don't answer about star seeds because I don't know. 
maybe one day I'll find out that I'm when I'm asleep, I'm moving to my uh, my family, start seed family, and I'm visiting them in Andromeda or the Ply Pleiadians or or Orion. I don't know. Uh, serious? I, I have no idea. Um, people say that if we follow this kind of information, we are star seeds. So maybe I'm a star seed. Uh, I will not argue. I like the idea. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you for I, that answer. Yeah, I would. I would say that you're asking the question, it really feels like whatever resonates with you for sure. And I feel that we're all angels and we're probably of some um, descent. I just found out from a show, Kalia, of what my origin is. And I have a lot of other aspects of different planets. Um, so I found that very interesting. So it's very enlightening, but um, yeah. So if you're on here, you're awakened and I would say whatever you feel in your heart, you know, and whatever resonates with you, that that's probably, you're probably a star seed, you know, from where, I don't know. You have to get in touch with Kalia. <laughs> Kalia could tell you, but uh, yeah. So she said, awesome. Thank you so much for the insight. You know, she, Choshi. Yeah. So thank you again, Shoshi, and I'm sure we'll have you on real soon, sooner than later. So that's always available and open. And uh, thank you to all the listeners, everybody who tuned in today, the ones who will be tuning in after this video. We greatly appreciate you being here. Thank you for all the questions. Shoshi, thank you for the beautiful answers. Um, again, thank you for showing up and being willing to make the change. And I'm honored to have you here and it's been a pleasure, so. Yeah. It's been a pleasure for me and thank you again. Yeah, you're so welcome, yeah, thanks so much. I love you sister and I love all you that have tuned in, all the ones that will be tuned in later and we will see you real soon. So watch for a show to come, whether it be with Shoshi, Rick, Kalia, not sure who, but stay tuned. So, all right. Love all you guys. And she she stay out afterwards after we get off the show, okay? Hang in there. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.